What is going on guys? Welcome to your 17th physics lesson and in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about Newton's third law. Now before we get into the law itself and I tell you guys what it is, I want to show you guys this equation. F equals M A or F ma. Now obviously what this means is force equals mass times acceleration basically if we wanted to figure out the acceleration of something and we had the force and the mass we could do that easily by you know plugging in the variables switching things around calculate that rather easy so let me go ahead and show you guys a quick example that will help you understand Newton's third law say you were standing on the top of a building and you had this big old pumpkin like that now you drop that pumpkin so it's falling freely through the air now obviously the force in this case pulling the pumpkin to the ground would be gravity and we could of course calculate the mass of the pumpkin to figure out its acceleration now say instead of standing on top of the building now you are just standing on top of the ground on top of earth so we have no object it's just you now check this out the force is still gravity the force is pulling you down to the ground we could of course calculate your mass figure out whatever that is but let's go ahead and take a look at the acceleration the acceleration of you or the object is zero you aren't moving anywhere even though you have a force and a mass your acceleration is zero does that make sense well if I just went ahead and I said you know what why does that happen an easy answer would be um well Bucky because you're standing on the freaking ground that's why you're not going anywhere but Newton wasn't satisfied with this answer so he needed to come up with this law and what he said is the reason that you are not accelerating is because when you are standing on earth you do have a force and a mass but the force of the earth is pushing up with you pushing up on you at an equal force now whenever this happens in the force downward equals the force upward and the object has no acceleration this is called a force pair not to be confused with a force pair which is indeed my favorite fruit now like I said a force pair happens when two objects have equal force but opposite directions so let's just give this a fake force of like 10 newtons gravity and the earth is pushing up in you with 10 newtons upward whenever you have equal forces in opposite directions then your object is always going to have zero acceleration aka it's not going to be moving anywhere so usually whenever I teach this to people it confuses them how pretty much there is a force keeping you from being sucked down to the middle of the earth and I don't know it's to be honest physics is kind of confusing but I think I can help clear things up by showing you guys an easier example of course whenever you're just standing walking around the earth it may be kinda of hard to grasp the concept of a force pair so let me show you guys this say that we have a tree limb and on the tree we have a watermelon now of course I know watermelons don't grow on trees but for this example this is a watermelon tree don't watermelons have like some stripes on them or something it's kinda of looks like that loaf of bread or a shoe leg anyways I'm getting distracted this is a watermelon tree now check it out there are two forces working on this watermelon first of all we have gravity now gravity is trying to pull this watermelon down make it fall on the ground but why is it not falling on the ground well that's because we have another force that's the tree limb now the tree limb is pushing or pulling depending on you know whose standpoint you're taking is has a force upward now since the tree limb has a force moving the watermelon upward and gravity is trying to pull it down the watermelon results in zero acceleration so let's go ahead and give these some fake values of five newtons each so gravity is pulling down on the watermelon with a force of five newtons and the tree limb is holding up the watermelon with a force of five newtons so then the end result wow definitely spelled that wrong okay slow down Bucky result is zero acceleration aka this watermelon here isn't moving at all so again 
like Newton said, a force pair, what you see right here, is what happens when two objects or an object has two forces in opposite directions but of equal magnitude causing zero acceleration. So of course if we wanted to get rid of this force pair then what we would do is we would take a pair of scissors and cut this tree limb and then whenever we would do that the watermelon would of course spring or fall to the ground. So basically like I said that's the concept behind Newton's third law in you probably more commonly heard it like I said for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction so that's the main concept behind it so hopefully you guys understand it a little bit better and hopefully you guys understand what a force pair is and why you guys are not sinking to the middle of the earth so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video